So these will be the top 20 most valuable Lego figures selling right this very minute. Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to look at the top 20 most valuable Lego minifigures selling right this minute. Some of them can sell for thousands of dollars and you may have them sitting around your house right this very minute. Space, the final frontier. These are the adventures of Legoland Space. It's unending mission to explore the depths of imagination, to seek out brave new worlds of excitement, to boldly go where no child has gone before. Now let's start with one of the most valuable ones out there, which is the Boba Fett from the Cloud City set. That set alone, if it was sealed, can sell for almost $10,000. Now, this Boba Fett can sell for a wide range of prices. There are many different versions of Boba Fett as well, and you have to have the very right version for it to sell for some ton of money. As you see, this one sold for $600, which is very, very low for this figure. This is about average of what you will see that Boba Fett going for with the gun and everything else that came with it, just as you see him here. This one here prices on Brick Economy right now at almost $2,600. So if he's in excellent condition, no issues, complete, original, he can easily sell for over $2,000 right this very minute. This is Boba Fett's helmet and his legs, missing the arms that are also decorated as well. They sold for $800. Now, most of the figures from the Cloud City set are on the top of the list of the most expensive, the most valuable ones out there, like this Luke Skywalker here from the very same set. Many of these figures, there could be 20, 30, 40, even 50 different versions of Lego figures for that exact same figure. Now we're looking at Brick Economy right now, which is probably the leading site for prices, estimates, and track data on Legos in general. It's one of the sites I always look at whenever we are pricing a Lego ahead of time. If you slide through here, you're going to easily be able to tell which Luke we just looked at. That is this one right here. All of these figures here are just Luke. Tons of different sets Luke was available in. The most expensive one and most of the characters like these would be the ones from the Cloud City set. Now, I'll also include a link down in the description box that will take you to this site so you can look up your own Legos yourself. Now, this is obviously Lando from that very same set, and he as well can easily sell for 400 to 600 bucks. Now, right along the lines of Boba Fett is Jango Fett. This one sold for $372. Now, there are several versions of Jango Fett as well, so you have to make sure you have the right one. Now, characters from some sets you may not even be aware of can sell for some phenomenal money as well. This was a one-off release. This is a Chief from the Rock Raiders set. He is the most expensive one from that entire line that I'm aware of, other than the actual sets themselves. He easily can sell for four to $600. He's supposed to have that blue arm on there. Here's another example. This one does guide at around a thousand bucks, so it's not uncommon to see him ranging in price between four and a thousand, depending on how complete, if he has his helmet, binoculars, and the whole works. Now, some figures are extremely scarce on their own because they came only with one or two sets. This is a real good example. This is Smog from the Lonely Mountain set from The Hobbit. He easily can sell for two to three hundred dollars any day of the week as long as he's complete and in excellent condition. This is Watto. This is the original one, not the re-released ones. You can still get different versions of this very same character. This is just a real great example here. He can easily sell for $100 to $200 range. Now, some figures were released for anniversaries like the 10th, the 20th, and the 30th anniversary of Star Wars. Some of them were released in limited quantity. Some of them were promotionals from stores that anybody could have went to and purchased. This is the gold chrome C-3PO. 
obviously very easily distinguished from the normal one that doesn't have the chrome coloring to them. With the poly bag, the bag that it came with, that can also add to the value. This one easily sold for well over $1,100. And this is from the 10th anniversary here. It's a chrome Darth Vader. It's got a different paint job than the rest of them. It's literally in chrome. And then the black highlights are over the chrome itself. You can easily sell for four or five hundred dollars. He's on the camp, his name is Jack. You just can't keep him in the sack. Cause Lego makes him quite a whack. It's Jack the Lego Maniac. Now some figures as well were available as a gift or an add-on. Or if you bought this, you got that. Here's an ARF Trooper. Very well sought after. He can easily go for two or $300 loose, all the way up to $400 in the poly bag as you see it here. Now this is Finch Dallow, only available in one set. He was basically the last man standing. His figure can easily sell for 600 plus any day of the week. Even his helmet can sell for hundreds of dollars as well. The helmets are very easily lost, and someone's going to need it if they want to complete their figure. Now, this is the white Boba Fett figure here. He was for the 30th anniversary. He readily can sell for two or $300 loose, up to three or 400 in the package. The biggest key to these is to make sure that you have the right version of the figure. There are four different versions of this figure. This is the only one that can sell in the $200 range. Now, here's Harlequin, and this is the specific version that came with the Welcome to Apocalypse Berg. Most figures from that set will be higher than any of the other versions of their character, such as this Harlequin here, which can easily sell in the two to $300 range. Now, this is Darth Raven, and this is another one of those limited ones. Some of these figures were only available in one or two sets, as I said earlier, and those sets were limited in production. Sometimes some of the sets would have been only released in certain stores as well. So that may add to the value of them. This one can easily sell for several hundred dollars. Now here's the Rancor monster from the Rancor pit set. This is one of those figures that just doesn't show up that much. It was an oddball set to begin with. It is one of the only ways that I am aware of that you can actually get the Rancor. He easily can sell for two, three, three fifty, as you see this one here. And this person sold three of them already. Now there also are some scarcities, some semi misprints here. This is a Princess Leia with smooth hair. Looking on Brick Economy, you'll see that this is one of the most expensive Princess Leia's out of the many, many ones that they made. The only real difference is the actual hair on Leia here. That can easily add to the value. This one can easily sell for two or three hundred dollars. Now, in this case as well, this one has some damage. Leah's body has a crack in the torso and the arm, and it still went for several hundred dollars. Now, here's a great example of a misprint and factory error on one of the figures. This figure looks like he's looking down, and I guess it would be to his right, but it's actually printed that way. His face is looking straight forward, so this is a very obvious, very scarce printing error on a Star Wars figure. It's very seldom that I ever see anything printed wrong on a Lego figure, especially one from these newer sets like this one here. This one sold for almost 500 US dollars with 29 bids. Lego also made a large number of promotional ones as well as some that were made for some tours that went around. Google had a science fair and this is one of the figures that was available from Google Science Fair. You can see the logo in the center, GSF. Google Science Fair 2014. Helicopter to Lego tow truck. Come here, tow truck. Emergency on Sunnydale Bridge. Past Lego Village. Up a level. Get the bus back on the bridge. We ought to make a safety rail. Here's some more Lego building bricks. With Lego, you can build buses and houses and bridges and helicopters. Even the new safety rail on the Sunnydale Bridge. Now, the same thing goes for employee Legos. Every employee at the Lego factory was given their own Lego as an advertising thing, may have had a business card with it as well as the figure. These do show up. You didn't necessarily have to go to a Comic Con or a toy fair or anything like that to get these. They could have been given out as well. Now here's a really interesting one that many people may not be aware of that they made. This is an all wooden version. There are also two different versions of the wooden one. There was also an add-on pack that had accessories that you could add to him as well. This one can 
easily sell for three or $400 in the box in the right condition. And lastly, the large giant size displays that would have been found in stores are also highly collectible. Most every store that sold Legos would have had these. In many cases, most of the stores at some point would have given these away as a prize. There are tons of different large size ones. There are also several different sizes of these bigger ones. This is one of the more common designs that you will run into. Prices on this one can easily run from 150 bucks all the way up to $1,000 like this one here. It just depends on the right day of the week, who's looking for it, and how much they are willing to spend. In some cases, the actual store it came from could also add to the value of it if, let's say, you have the shipping box this was shipped to the store in. These are highly collectible. Anybody that's a massive Lego collector is going to want one of these massive 19-inch tall display figures. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. Well, there we have it. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. <laughs>